Welcome to Construct Tech TV. You asked, and today I will answer. On today's special tech update, I'm going to address five common questions among our viewers. These include, what is generative design in BIM? What are swarms of autonomous robots? Will ductless disrupt residential home building? How will drone delivery centers impact construction? And will cigarette butts really help pave our roads? Now, these are all great discussions. But first up, what is generative design in BIM? At its core, it's nature's evolutionary approach to design. Now, studies have been done on generative design for years, and we all know this. Researchers have looked at integration of generative design and algorithms in the early existing BIM platforms. And this can actually bridge the gap from conceptual design to actually detailed design. Roughly two years ago, Autodesk took interest and started investing research related to generative design. This was mostly on the manufacturing side, but Autodesk and many other companies also began to explore how it could be used in the construction industry. So basically, designers input goals into the generative design software. This also includes parameters such as materials. Then the software explores all the possibilities and generates the design alternatives. So this enables contractors to test and learn and see what works and actually what doesn't. Could this actually help us bridge that gap in the future? Only time will tell, but it's certainly worth keeping in mind. What are swarms of autonomous robots? It's the coordination of a multi-robot systems. Think of it like when an individual machine can autonomously decide what it wants to do or coordinate with its neighbors. The Weiss Institute at Harvard University is doing some really awesome research in this area specifically for the construction industry. The robots act independently, but they work collectively and they can carry bricks and build staircases. Then they can actually climb on them to actually add bricks to a structure. The Kilobot technology demonstrates collective swarm algorithms in hardware rather than merely computer simulations. This hive operating system could perform complex tasks in natural environments. This can actually be used to build 3D structures. Now the question I have for you, Will a swarm of robots descend on your job site? I know they're coming very soon. We all know that a typical U.S. home has a traditional duct system. But will ductless disrupt residential home building? Ductless air conditioning first emerged back in the 1980s. Still, it has a small share of the residential market today. But that is all about to change. The residential market is expected to grow about 8.5 percent between 2016 and 2021. Driving factors include low energy consumption and, in fact, easy installation. Ductless enables zone control of a home, as most of you know, and it offers increased comfort, greater energy efficiency, and superior air quality. Still, many of you trades haven't adopted this yet. With new advances, some of the systems even have sensors that enable the homeowners to adjust room temperatures automatically. So if you are trying to determine if this is the right kind of option for the next building project that you have, ask yourself the following questions. Are you building net zero energy homes? Does your buyers want custom zone control? If so, ductless might be something for you to consider. How will drone delivery centers impact construction? This summer, Amazon painted a pretty picture of the future of drone delivery. Its objective was to get drones near large populations to be more efficient than regular road delivery. Hello, drone beehives. These beehives just might alter the construction world in two key ways. The first is construction companies will need to build these beehives like buildings. There will be new technical requirements for creating this new type of structure. But even more than that, I envision another trend emerging. As I see it, they will create new opportunities for you at the job site. Now picture it. Drone centers might offer a hub for all of your devices. At the beginning of the day, they automatically fly over your job site collecting all the data that's happening at the job site. 
This data is then sent to the project teams that are there to make critical business decisions about what's happening on your project. And then at the end of the day, the drones settle back into their hives where they give themselves a great big buzz for another day's work. Now that's something to think about. Our final question of the day is, will cigarette butts help pave our roads? RMIT University in Australia says yes, and I for one hope they are right. A team of researchers has found that asphalt mixed with cigarette butts can handle heavy traffic and also reduce thermal conductivity. The cigarette is encapsulated in vitamin and paraffin wax to lock in the chemicals. This also prevents any leaching from the asphalt concrete. What a great way to solve the challenge of the cigarette butt pollution. About six trillion cigarettes are produced every year. This results actually in about 1.2 million tons of waste, of which I guesstimate most of those butts end up on our roads. Sadly, these waste figures are estimated to increase by more than 50% by 2025. Now, if we all think long enough, what other ways can we use to help pave our roads? Now, that's your tech update for today.